Okay guys, so now I'm going to cut up leather. And funny thing is, look at these samples of this one. Oh, there's the samples of the So Hot that I didn't get to show you. Um, and I'll just have to brush the tops of this. These aren't going to be brushed with anything. This is a definite man set, although I wear, I love it, but it's definitely a man set. Um, but look at what the samples did. <laughs> You know, like this pinkish orange tinge and I have no idea why because the mini loaf didn't and the log didn't um, I think this is gonna turn like a little bit the bottom's gonna turn like tan to light brown we'll find out this is my first time soaping the scent so let me get started here I think I'm gonna straight cut this one Oh, I love the smell of this one. I'm gonna come off of there. I'm gonna come off. Oh, I'm sure this one, you know, is a. It's got more notes. It's it's definitely got more notes in there than just leather. But to me, it's mostly just straight up new leather smell oh and this one here just it gives me two memory there's two memories I have with this one the most important one is when I smell it it just makes me think of when I first met my husband when we were really young and he had a Harley which he still does and I actually had a Harley too I have my my motorcycle license but anyway when I first met him he had a Harley, and st like I said, still does, but um, and oh, it just reminds me of being young and riding on his motorcycle and the smell of our, our leather jackets. I just love it. And this has brown and black swirl there on the top. So, oh, I, I make this, I made this into a roll-on perfume for hubby. And I make him wear it, and then I just, whenever he goes by me in the house, I'm like, oh, come here. And I start sniffing him. <laughs> I just love this scent. And then the second memory it reminds me of is um, my horse saddles. Because I, I owned and operated my own tack shop for a few years. What was it, like five and a half years? And then, of course, I got sick, and I had to close it down. So... Um, it reminds me of what my tack shop used to smell like. You'd come in and you'd smell that new leather, you know, of all the saddles and tack. And, oh, I just love that smell. So this scent has really good memories for me. And if you like the smell of leather, I think you really, really love this one. And I think after cutting up this one, my table's going to be officially completely no more room left. There's a bubble there. And there's the other part of it. Hopefully that's the only one with a bubble. Pretty dreary here today. Yesterday it mixed snow and rain and freezing rain and it was just gross. But 
the sun will come out eventually. to see if I got my normal 14 out of my last batch. I think I'm getting back on track here with my amounts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, I got 15 out of the last batch. right out here. samples. My gosh, I've had too much coffee. My hand's so shaky. go. So that's leather and it's just you know, cream colored with the brown and the black. Very manly scent and manly soap I think so I tried to keep it that look. And mini loaf and samples and then not so manly looking samples. I have no idea why I did that. <laughs> Very strange. Okay. That's my table. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I do have space right there for one more, I guess. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.